Welcome to this, the second video in the Ranarex Studio Ranarex Path series, Syntax Examples. For demonstration purposes, we will once again be using the Ranarex demo application. If we begin by tracking the exit button in Spy, first of all, we see the Ranarex Path. In Path Editor, we see that the element is identified by its control name. The tree browser shows the exit button is a direct child of the root UI element Rx main frame. As the exit button is the only button in the current GUI layer of the demo application, it is possible to generalize the Ranarex path specification without losing track of the button. To do so, we delete at control name equals Rx button exit and press enter. We now have a generalized Aranorex path specification. The tree browser still shows the UI element exit button as a direct child of the root element. The path editor tree view shows the generalized Ranorex path specification. This example only succeeds as there is only one button in the designated level. Ranorex chooses identification attributes automatically. This choice can be changed at will. Simply click on Control in the Path Editor, deselect Control Name and select Control Test. The Runnerex path is then automatically amended. As we have seen in the previous videos, wildcards add flexibility and robustness to Runnerex path specifications. If we track the pane of the demo app, we are once again greeted with wildcards. These two any optional wildcards are both represented by forward slash and a question mark and they mean that even if the tab page element moves down or up one level the path will still be valid. It is often necessary to find and track elements from within a GUI where we do not know the depth of the elements. Therefore an all path descendants operator allows searching all descendant levels of an element to track a specific UI element. To do so, we use the any descendants wildcard or forward slash forward slash. Then simply type the role of the UI element or elements you want to find. In this case, the radio button. This results in the UI element tree browser displaying all found UI elements, i.e seven radio buttons in two different levels and the radio button as a tree element in the path editor. We have therefore searched and identified any radio button elements below the root element. If you wish to find UI elements with an exactly known depth, the any wildcard operator might be the tool of choice. If this time we type forward slash asterisk forward slash asterisk and the same again. Once we press enter we see the path editor with the elements of the Ranarex path specification in tree-like structure. Each of the wildcard operators represents one search level below the root element and we see the UI element tree browser with five found UI elements of the role radio button and exactly three levels down from the root element. In many cases it is necessary to narrow a generalized Runnerex path specification to a more specific one to find and identify the selected UI elements within the GUI. If we start by finding all buttons, we simply type forward slash forward slash buttons at the end of the current Runnerex path Spy then finds 17 items within the UI element test area. Now, let's say we only want to search for visible buttons. We type at visible equals true. This time when we press enter, we see that only the 15 visible buttons have been found. We can narrow the path even further. If we type at control name greater than btn, Spy will find all the UI elements which are both visible and whose control name starts with BTN. 
or the reset and shuffle buttons. If we want to select the second sequential button, we simply type 2 at the end of the runner X path, and the second button sequentially is selected. This does not reflect the control name. To begin tracking a tree element, we click track and then select a tree element. The tree item web and mobile testing is identified as a descendant of the tree. The path flexibility is a result of the wildcards and once again allows successful identification if the tree item is in and below one of the two levels of the tree item. If we now repeat the procedure for a subtree item, this time we see the resulting runner X path specification with the subtree item endpoints identified as a normal tree item. Runner X keeps the tree as anchor element of the runner X path specification. If we track a table item, SPY will give the element an absolute style position specification or first name row 6. However, this lacks robustness. If we are to hit the shuffle button, we see that Thomas Back's position in the table changes. We therefore need to use a cell content specification. We do this by typing at text equals Thomas. However, Thomas is featured as both a first name and a surname, as in Thomas Bach and Will Thomas. So we need to go further and ensure that it is the first name we identify. We type accessible name greater than first and we get Thomas back. Now let's say we want to test that Thomas's age is correct. We would type at accessible name greater than age and we are presented with 42. Thomas's age this is the final video in the Renorex Studio Renorex Path video series. In the next video series we will look at image-based automation.